<laughs> For a long time, scientists have been baffled by the smallness of the atom. Hey, I'm Jesse. I have three boys, Diego, Zion, and Kingston. I know that reading is important. That's why I encourage them to do it as much as possible. One way to do that is by placing books all over the house. I'll show you how. I love cooking. And sometimes my boys follow me into the kitchen and sometimes they're helpful and sometimes they're not. So I gotta find ways to keep them occupied so I can cook. How do I do that? Bam, a stack of books right next to me. I get to cook dinner and I'm happy. They get to read their books and they're happy and dinner gets done. So then after the water stirs a little bit, we put it on the chicken and then we dance a little bit around the kitchen. A little bit on the kitchen. Mm. <laughs> That's awesome. What about yours, Kingston? A bear. A bear? That's cool. This one's got cool colors in it. Here's the deal. The more kids see books, the better they feel about them. It's all about familiarity. And if you place books all around the house, they'll become familiar fast. Putting a basket of books in the bathroom is one of the best ways to squeeze in more reading time. You can even get some waterproof bath books. Show your kids that you like to pick up books wherever you are, and they'll learn to do the same. This one's a no-brainer. You gotta have books next to the bed. It makes it so much easier to grab them at bedtime. You can get fancy containers, but for me, a good old shoe box works just fine. Cause it bit my fingers so. When reading becomes a part of the routine, books become an important part of kids' lives. My kids love to wake me and my wife up super early, especially on the weekends. So we told them they had to read a book before they can come in. And that just got us 10 extra minutes of shut-eye. Don't forget to keep books in the car. It's a great way to squeeze in some extra learning, whether you're going on a long trip to grandma's house or just a quick trip to the store. Let's say I have a ton of laundry to fold. Well, I'll put a stack of books next to me, and if Diego's hanging out with me, I'll have him read a book, and when I'm done folding all this laundry, I'll sit down with him and we'll read a book together. Sometimes your kid will bring you a book at a random time. And let's face it, as parents, life gets busy. But you know, once in a while, just stop what you're doing, drop to the floor and read with them. There you go. Books everywhere means reading everywhere. And that's a good thing. Mother Goose Club wants to know how you boost book time at your place. So share pictures and videos by hashtagging them Mother Goose Club. Prefer to type your comments? Let us know what's on your mind below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about new videos. Until next time, keep stacking those books. See ya. And sometimes these little guys follow in here. Ugh. Books become an important part of kids' lives. Zion, you know you weren't supposed to be up here. My kids love to wake up. <clears throat> Here's a secret weapon. Our kids love to wake our. How many times are gonna keep on doing this? My kids love to wake. Jeez, Louise. Until next time, keep those stack. It's this mic in front of me is making me nervous. That was a. <laughs> and until next time, it's a great, great, or a quick grocery run to. Ugh, 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 my brain just stopped. Yeah, I can't read. Just look at the pictures. Is one of the best ways to. Ugh. Mother Goose Club wants to know how you boost, boost how you boost. Wow, that's gonna be a weird one. Boost. Does that, does that sound funny or is it just me? My Latino accent's coming in really strong there. Hashtag videos and pictures. Ugh. Share pictures and videos by hashtagging Mother Goose Club. <laughs> Mother. <laughs>